And now BBC Two is proud to present an evening of Monty Python. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now for my next number, I shall be using the services of a Tiddles. No, 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 BBC Two are celebrating the 30th anniversary of Monty Python, which is a very special occasion for us Pythons. And I'd just like to say on behalf of the whole gang, except for the dead one, of course, how pleased we are to be back at the BBC. Of course, the relationship between us and the BBC has not always been easy, but uh, we really are delighted to be here tonight to celebrate on BBC Two the 30th anniversary of the first ever transmission of Monty Python's Flying Circus on BBC One. Which, I suppose, speaks for itself. We've been moved down, you see, from BBC One, the more popular channel, to BBC Two, the less popular or more unpopular channel. So thank you, BBC, for this big vote of confidence. Obviously, we're just a tired bunch of pathetic old has-beens who are clearly... In case you're interested, John's suit is made of fine brushed mohair. It's made in the new economic zone of Shanghai. So if you like it or anything else John's wearing, why not contact BBC Costumes, part of the Lufthansa Sainsbury's Aero Grocery Group. I mean, it was fine Thank when you. we were pulling an audience as a nine minute, but now apparently we're out of touch with the sensibilities of the new so-called commercially-led television era. I mean, do you know what Eddie Izzard gets? £70,000 a show? I used to get three and a half thousand a series, and Monty Python changed the face of the 20th century! Bloody BBC! What are you doing? You were criticising the BBC. Well, don't think you frighten me with John Burt. Ha! Ah, John Burt, he's dead in the water. He'll be in the House of Lords next. John Burt. I've got a message from Greg Dyke. Greg Dyke! <laughs> yeah, Greg says you better do your announcing properly, otherwise you're going to have to support yourself for the rest of your life doing Sainsbury's commercials. Oh, no, please, don't make me work for Sainsbury's again, please. I'll, I'll do it properly. I'll be good. I'll be good. Shall we start again, please? I'll be really, really, really good, I promise. That's my boy. Let's start again. <laughs> And now BBC Two is proud to present an evening of Monty Python. Stop it! Stop, stop it! Good evening, girl. <laughs> Tonight, BBC Two are celebrating the very first transmission of Monty Python's. Excuse me, I'm introducing uh, this evening's themed viewing. Yeah, well, that comes under introductions and announcements. Uh, we're BBC Furniture. I'm sorry? Yes. All furniture comes under BBC Central. Furnishing has to be costed and rehired out on a pro rata basis to the user through central authorisation on behalf of Fund EI, the licence payer. Well, can I just make the opening announcement, please? Not on that chair, you can't, no. But, but it's a BBC announcement and this is a BBC chair. No, no, that, that chair belongs to BBC Furniture, which is now a wholly owned subsidiary of BBC Interior. Design, plc.com, which in turn is part of American Airlines. What? What's happened? Uh, it's a BBC open lighting policy. Uh, the uh, lights can be used by anyone at any time who is willing to pay more. But we're on the air. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. Absolutely typical of the bloody BB. Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, um, we've given them the check, but apparently they need three days to put it through, so I I'm not quite sure what we should... Uh... Oh. Good idea. Right. So, good evening, viewer, again. Will you be quiet down there? And now we're going to show you a full-length documentary about us. And I hear it's absolutely fascinating, as you'd expect. Oh. Did you go by Calcutta? I'm an announcer! <sighs> what are you? VA 298. Yes, you get into Calcutta at 2106. Terrific. 